Yo people, CM Dav, welcome to another video, we're going to be doing another entering video, it's going to be Lenny and Lisa Brown and the first episode we see them, which is season 9, episode 1. Let's get into the vid. <laughs> So the first scene that we see them in, they're in a rundown house with their older brother Larry. Larry's telling them that the milk that they have is off and Lenny's annoyed and Larry says that he needs to eat his cereal without milk. So from what we're already seeing, it's giving kind of poverty vibes. That being said, I do remember back in the day, for fun, I used to just have Rice Krispies just with sugar. They hear banging at the door and Larry tells Lenny and Lisa to hide in the back. Two henchmen jump in, they rough Larry up a bit and it leads to Lisa and Lenny running in. As soon as one of the guys sees Lisa, he gets creepy and says that he didn't know that Larry had a sister. One of the henchmen says that if he doesn't get his money by 5pm, then him and Lisa will take a date. Larry hugs the twins and tells them to keep out of trouble and not to talk to anyone about what's going on at home. So at school now, Lenny and Lisa are in the office with Christine and Sonia. Larry pleads for Christine to register the twins. Sonia's preying them, she's definitely thinking these kids are stinky and they're just not looked after properly. Sonia's face is too funny and she's just waving her magazine for fresh air because obviously they stink and she's playing it off as the room being stuffy. In the assembly, Lenny and Lisa sit next to Rhiannon but she shoves away from them because they stink. Bit of a common theme here. After the assembly, Audrey approaches the twins and asks whether they remember her. Lisa says no, but Lenny actually clocks on. And Lisa's on the aggro mode saying that she gave her a detention when she didn't I have a lock. But Audrey says that it's all water under the bridge. Audrey's asking questions about their brother Larry, but Lisa isn't having it. So she avoids the questions and takes Lenny and they both leave. They go to their first lesson with Sue in science. She tells them they're going to be working in groups of three and she points over to Rhiannon. But Rhiannon's not having it at all, saying that they're rank, but she's forced to sit back down. And Lenny says he doesn't feel well, but Lisa tells him to eat the food that Larry gave him, so basically the cereal with no milk. Lisa gets onto Rhiannon about the year she's supposed to be on, and good point because really and truly Scout was in the same year as Rhiannon and she really came and left whilst Rhiannon is still there. Rhiannon responds by saying that because she's in the PRU but she also claps back saying that maybe she likes to hang around with Munters but I'm not too sure what Munters are so it's on can tell me in the comments what that is. Rhiannon takes Lenny's cereal and is going to have some but then she sees ants in them she dashes them everywhere screaming that there's ants in them. Lenny runs off and he ends up bumping into Casey with the memorial she made for Tom. Casey gets angry and Rihanna pushes him. Lisa tells her to leave him alone. Lenny's leaning on a corner and then he collapses just as Audrey's walking past. Lenny was too hungry the way he was yamming the food. It was as if he was trying to eat the plate as well. Lisa was annoyed since they were supposed to keep their heads down. Christine wants to speak to their brother so he can take Lenny home since he's not feeling well. Lisa butts in saying that Larry works mornings all week and Lenny says he's feeling better now. Audrey basically tells the twins that they need to have a shower because they stink. Obviously in the Audrey way that she can only do herself. Lisa says that their boiler's getting fixed but Audrey also says that they can do it in the school. At this point, everyone's realising that Audrey's just doing too much. Even Christine realises this and she sends her off. Audrey approaches the twins again as they come into the computer room. They explain that George sent them there to learn basic French vocabulary online. Lisa says no one wants them there but Audrey says that they need to get to know them better so does she. She apologises if she upset them earlier and she tries to bust convo with them saying to Lisa that she's a cat fan too but Lisa says it's just a t-shirt. She opens the door to Lenny and Lisa if they have any issues but Lisa says they won't come to her. When Audrey leaves, Lenny thinks she's just trying to be nice but Lisa thinks she's trying to be nosy. They go to Audrey and thank her for being nice to them. Lisa tells her she actually does like cats. Audrey offers if they need any extra tuition she can come over to their house. Lenny says no immediately. Lenny then pretends to be a bit dizzy and Audrey attends to him whilst Lisa goes into her bag and steals some money from her purse. They leave the classroom and Rihanna shouts, Oi Mingers! And then Lisa turns around and gets water dashed on her. When she takes her hoodie off, Audrey and Maggie realise Lisa got bites on her back and they assume that they're bed bugs. Audrey goes outside and confronts Lenny about what's going on at home. She tells him that Lisa already told her. Lenny opens up and says Larry's doing it for them and asks whether he'll get in trouble for a bit of weed. At the football match, Lenny is playing whilst Lisa is watching him. Larry comes and tells Lisa to get Lenny as they're leaving. Lisa runs onto the pitch and tries to date Lenny but Casey doesn't let her and tells her to get off the pitch. Lisa tells Casey it's nothing to do with her. Lisa also says that she doesn't care about her stupid match or her stupid dead teacher. Very, very mad. The funniest part of this year is Dynasty screaming, Hey, get your hands off my sister! with her umbrella. Christine asks Larry if there's a problem and Larry says it's a family thing. Larry tells the twins that Audrey's been in the flat. Audrey comes with the police and everyone witnesses Larry get arrested. Lisa's angry so she's just dashing things around the office. Christine comes in and Lisa to ask whether social services are on the way. She says that Lenny lost two stone when they were last split up and he didn't speak for six months. Lenny wants to stay at home and says that they can look after themselves. Maggie and Christine agree that they can stay in the schoolhouse. Audrey comes across the twins with Maggie in the hallway and says that she's glad to see that they're going to a good home tonight. But Maggie backs them saying that the brother was doing a good job. Lisa said they're going to a nice place whilst Larry is in a cell. Audrey's basically a Karen. Not this Karen. In one of the last scenes, Lisa is plotting on ways to escape the schoolhouse already. Lenny says he wants to stay because it's warm, clean and there's dinner. 
He pleads with her and she finally agrees. Lisa says she won't let Audrey get away with it. Lenny asks what can they do and Lisa says that Audrey said that they can come around at any time. The episode ends with them going to her house and Lisa is ready to throw a rock at her window but she sees Audrey with her cat Mitzi and she has an idea, leaving it on a cliffhanger. That is the end of the video. I like these two characters coming in. They were a breath of fresh air that Waterloo Road actually needed and it was very different to what we'd actually seen beforehand. Also, I hope you guys actually noticed what jacket Lenny was wearing throughout the episode. What a familiar jacket, right? I hope you guys have also seen the news on the new characters that are coming into Waterloo Road and the returning characters, the teachers as well. I hope you guys enjoy it and I can't wait for Waterloo Road to actually come back so I can start making review episodes as well. That is the end of the video. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment. Stay safe. Take care. Love my people.